Welcome back everyone. You might be in a situation where you might have deleted some photos from your Android device, whether that's a Samsung Galaxy S series phone or LG or OnePlus or whatever the case is. Now on an Android phone, you're actually pretty lucky because there's a lot more ways to actually retrieve a lot of those photos rather than something like an iPhone or iPad or whatever. Now what I will tell you though is that before you start downloading any apps, which I have recommended a few, I'm not getting sponsored by anybody to make these videos, what you might want to do is already check through your Google Photos or check through your messages and things like that, you might be able to retrieve a ton of different photos. That way, let's say your phone randomly just factory reset it and you deleted all your information, going through your Google Photos or your messages might be the best way to go. So if you go through your messages app, you might be able to find, you know, you know, photos that you sent people a long while ago. So if you know how to back up or anything, or if you have your messages synced up anywhere, I'd recommend going through there. Another way, going through your Snapchat. If you have your Snapchat app, you can go through your, you know, history here and look through your photos that way. Again, Google Photos would be a humongous one that you should download as well. And you maybe already had it pre-installed before. So you can go through that way. And if your phone randomly factory reset it, that would probably be the best way of going about doing it. Now there's another way to do it. Let's say you might have accidentally deleted them from your camera roll and you want them back. In order to retrieve them, a really good app is using Disk Digger, whatever this one is called. And I'll leave this one linked down below, but you can really use any app that's like this. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but this is the one that was recommended. So you can go download this one. You can download another one. It doesn't really matter. They're all pretty much doing the same thing. So what you want to do is once you have it installed, you want to go ahead and open it. Now I'll go ahead and give you an example. I'll go through my gallery and I'll go ahead and delete this photo right here. And I'll delete this photo right here just because I don't really need them anymore. So I'll move those to trash. As you can see, they're deleted from my phone, at least that it appears to be. So once you have that specific disk digger tool installed, it's such a weird name. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it, which I already have it open right here. Now we'll go ahead and delete this because it was there already pre-installed, or at least from when I opened it before. Now as soon as you open it, you'll come to a page like this. And all you want to do once you're here is you, is you want to look at the top and it says start basic photo scan. You can click that. Now if you are rooted, this will allow you to gain more access and potentially more photos and videos to gain. Now I think this only does videos. Now I think this only does photos, but I could be wrong. But this will potentially bring more photos into you basically the scannable way if you're rooted. So if you have a pixel or something, I'd recommend rooting it. Unfortunately on my Galaxy S20, I cannot root this right now. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But what you want to do is you want to click that start photo scan. Now I'm not rooted and as you can see it's still pulled up some of those photos that I've had before. Now I don't even know what those photos are. I don't know what those photos are but all these other photos I pretty much remember and I'm pretty sure I deleted them. These were from a while ago too as you can see. That's I don't even know why my profile picture is there but these photos were from previous camera things that I've done and you can see that yeah it was pretty much able to recover some of those photos and as you can see the two I deleted earlier right there and right there I can go ahead and recover these. So in order to recover them, all you want to do, and then it'll give you a thing of scan complete. All you want to do is go ahead and tap on the images that you want. So let's say I want these ones back. You can go ahead and click those and at the very bottom, it has an option to recover. I went ahead and clicked that. And then I clicked this middle option right here, which allowed me to save them on my phone, but you can also save them on Google Drive and different options like that. But I just picked this one because I didn't really want to deal with that. So click the middle option. And then from here, I just clicked allow access and then clicked allow access again and then it pretty much installed them straight on my phone. So then I hopped out, I went straight back into my gallery. Sorry if the phone's coming out of the thing, which I went to gallery right here. And as you can see, it brought those specific photos back. So, so that's really pretty much the process. It only took a couple of seconds and I'm glad I was able to gain all these pictures back. And again, if you have an Android device, this would be a really, really amazing way to go about doing it. So that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.